Hi everyone, it's Miss Chris from here at District Library here with Toddler Story Time today. Yay! We're going to start out our story time today by doing our feel good chant. That is a chant that helps you to have a good day and feel good about yourself. So there are some motions in our feel good chant. The first part is I am great, so that's where we get our arms way out here. The next part is I am smart. That's where you're touching your head like this. The next part is I am strong so we can show our muscles. <laughs> and the next part is I am loved. That's where you give yourself a hug. And the last part is where it goes like this. Today is going to be an awesome day. And then you yell, woohoo, and you jump up and down. All right, everybody. Those are the motions for the feel good chant. Let's do it together. Let's get our arms way out here. Here we go, everybody. I am great. I am smart. I am strong. I am loved. Today is going to be an awesome day. Woohoo! Great job, everybody, on the Feel Good chant this morning. All right, next it's time to sing our opening song of We Clap and Sing Hello, except today. Instead of clapping, we're going to, what is it we're going to do? Let me see. Let's see. There are a few things we could do. And I think we're going to fly like an airplane today. So we're going to fly and sing hello. So we can get our arms way out here. And you could fly like this like an airplane. You could even fly like a bird and flap your arms up and down. I think that might be the way I fly today. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here we go. We fly and sing hello, we fly and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we fly and sing hello, good flying and singing hello today, good job everybody, <laughs> great job, alright, next up we're going to do our big, big, big chant, it may have been a while since we've done this, but you can do this with me as we go, so when it's big, 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 we're going to get our arms way out here. This is a chant about opposites. So we're going to have big and small, and then short and tall, and then we're going to have fast and slow, and yes and no. Those are the opposites that we're going to cover with this. All right, everybody, let's get our arms way out there again. Here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, 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 and this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. Let's see that fast arm roll. Woo! This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, 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 and this is no, no, no. Great job on our big, big, big chant. Great job, everybody. <laughs> All right, next, we're going to shake our sillies out, because I don't know about you, but I've got a few extra sillies hanging around, and I need to shake them out. So we're going to sing a few verses of shake our sillies out. Of course, we're going to start with shaking our sillies out. Next, we're going to clap our crankies out, and then we're going to jump our jiggles out, and then we're going to oh, yawn our sleepies out, and then we're going to shake our sillies out one more time. All right, here we go. Let's get ready to shake. <laughs> I've got to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. Good job. Here comes the next part. We're going to clap our crankies out. Here we go. I've got to clap, clap, clap my crankies out. Clap, clap, clap my crankies out. Clap. Clap, clap my crankies out and wiggle my waggles away. All right, next we're going to jump our jiggles out. Here we go. I've got to jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. All right, next we're going to, oh, we're going to yawn our sleepies out. Here we go. I've got to yawn, oh, yawn. Yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, oh, yawn, yawn my sleepies out and wiggle my waggles away. 
Here comes one last verse where we're gonna shake our sillies out again. Here we go. I've got to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Great job shaking our sillies out today. <laughs> All right, let's see. The next song we're going to do is a song that I'm going to sing with a friend. Let me get our friend. All righty, let's see. Let's see if you can tell me what kind of friend this is. Let's see. I'll hold it up here and we'll do a little description here. So first off, we have a beak in the middle of its face. There are two eyes here. Got some wings, one wing there and one wing there. Got some feet down here. All right, can you tell what kind of friend this is? Oh, maybe I should tell you what kind of sound it makes. Let's see, it goes, whoo, 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 whoo. And this friend is usually outside at night. Can you guess what kind of friend it is? That's right, this is our owl. And as we said a minute or so ago, it goes whoo whoo. So when our owl gets up in the morning, that is the sound it's going to make. Are you ready? We're going to sing with our friend, the owl. Here we go. When owls get up in the morning, they always say good day. When owls get up in the morning, they always say good day. Woo, 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 woo. That is what they say. They say, woo, 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 woo. That is what they say. Good job singing with that owl today. What, what, what was that? Oh, someone else wants to sing the song with us too? Okay. Our owl tells us there's another friend waiting. Let me get that friend too. Oh boy, this friend is sort of magical. Let's see. Yes, I'm not sure you can tell. Let's see, I'll brush the mane away. Oh, look at there. This friend has a horn in the middle of her forehead. Ooh, and there's a beard because all unicorns have a beard. And oh, there's a tail. Oh, and I told you what our friend was, didn't I? <laughs> That's right. This is our friend, the princess unicorn. And she goes, nay, 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 when she gets up in the morning. All right, we're going to sing with the princess unicorn. Here we go. When princess unicorns get up in the morning, they always say good day. When princess unicorns get up in the morning, they always say good day. Nay, 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 nay. That is what they say. They say, nay, 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 nay. That is what they say. Woo, thank you for singing that song with our friend, the owl and our friend, the princess unicorn. Good job, everybody. Now that we have sung our song with two animal friends, it's time to meet a few more animal friends. I have a game for us to play today. We have some barns up here. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about what color they are. So let's see, we will start over here. What color is this barn? That's right, it's orange, good job. How about this one? What color is this barn? That's right, that one is purple. Let's see, how about this barn over here? That one's our green barn. And down here we have, that's right, the red one. How about this color? Does anybody know that color? That one's yellow. And way over here, what color is this barn? That's right, that one is the blue barn. Alrighty. So we're going to play the Old MacDonald Had a Farm animal game. So we're going to sing the first part of the Old MacDonald Had a Farm song right up to the E-I-E-I-O. And then I say, and on his farm we have a, and underneath, his, underneath each barn is a friend. Let's see what we've got today. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's start singing. He clap along, too. Old MacDonald Had a Farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, let's see what he had. <gasps> what 
good is that? Let me hold it up so you can see. Let's see. Kind of, what kind of animal is that? Can you tell? It's it's pink. And it makes a sound that goes oink, 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 oink. And it likes mud. That's right. That's our pig. So on his farm, he had a pig. E I E I O. Woo! All right, let's sing our song again and see what animal friend is under the purple barn. Here we go, everybody. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm, he had a. Oh, what kind of animal is this? Bring it up here again so you can see. Let's see. So this friend is black and white. It's got four hooves. It gives milk and it goes moo. That's right. There's a cow on the farm. All right. On the on his farm he had a, a pig and now a cow. All righty. Oh, good. I like farm animals. Let's see what kind of farm animal is under the green barn. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, whoa, is that a farm animal? Hmm, I'm not sure this one lives at a farm, but let's talk about this animal. There's a tail and some hands and a furry little face. That's right, that's our monkey. There's a monkey on this farm. And what kind of sound does that monkey make again? He goes, whoop, 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 whoop. All right, wow, old McDonald is getting some interesting animals on the farm. Now we have a monkey. All right, so let's see. We had a pig and a cow and now a monkey. Wow. All right, I can't wait to see what's in the red barn. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, oh, ooh, what kind of animal is this? Let's see, it's got four hooves, looks like it likes to gallop, there's a mane, hmm, it goes, likes to go nice and fast, whoop, the other way, woo, <laughs> that's right, and it goes, nay, nay. That's right. On his farm, he had a horse. Yay! I like horses. They're one of my favorites. All right, so let's look at the animals we've got. Now we have, on the farm, we have a pig, a cow, a monkey, and a horse. Wow! I like old McDonald's farm. How about you? <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of animal is in the yellow barn. Here we go. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, oh, wow, what kind of animal is that? Let's see, we have, let's see, this animal has some horns on the top of its head, it's got some stripes, a little tiny tail back there, it's got some hooves there, hmm, and it goes, bah, bah. That's right, it's our goat. Oh, Big Down had a goat on the farm too. Wow. All right, so now we have a pig, a cow, a monkey, a horse, and a goat. All right, one more barn. I wonder what other animal is on the farm today. Here we go. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a Wow! Do you see what kind of animal that is? Wow! It looks like a big kitty cat. It's got some stripes. It's orange and black. Not a kitty cat. Much bigger. That's right. That's our tiger. And do you know what kind of sound tigers make? That's right. They go roar. Let's all roar together. Here we go, everybody. Roar! <laughs> Good job. All right. Let's take one more look at all the animals on Old McDonald's farm. Here we go. We have a pig, a cow, a monkey, a horse, a goat, and a tiger. Wow! Awesome! Thank you for checking out the animals on Old McDonald's farm with me. Great job, everybody. Woo! Wow! 
now that we've had so much activity, it is time to do a calm breath technique. So today we're going to do the flower breath. So this means that uh, you are going to hold up one finger and we're going to pretend it's a dandelion with the big fluff on the top. I know you might be seeing some of these in your yard. So that is the kind of flower I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is take a deep breath through our nose and blow it out through our mouth on top of our dandelion. This is our dandelion. Very gently and blow the fluff off. All right, here we go. Let's get our dandelion out. Let's take our deep breath through our nose and blow it out gently through our mouth. Let's do that a couple of more times. Here we go. One more. And one more. The great part of learning a calm breathing technique is you can do this as many times as you need to in any situation that you need to. That is our calm breathing technique today. Great job, everybody. All right, it is time for this week's early literacy tip. Once again, I have our, our PLA calendar, that's Public Library Association calendar, and this is the one for August. I love these calendars because every single day of the month has a cool activity that you can do with your toddler. So today, I picked one that is, oddly enough, about singing, but this is about music. So I'm going to put my calendar down. Um, singing falls, music falls under the singing category. So this literacy tip is, I'm going to read this one off here. Um, let's see. So this week I'm highlighting singing, which in this case incorporates music. Make music with things that you have in the house, like pots, pans, spoons, boxes, and cups. So I was just poking around here at the library, and he, these are my instruments that I have found. Let's see. Hmm, I have a funnel. Does anybody here see a trumpet? Okay, have a trumpet. Let's see, what else do we have? I have some drumsticks, which equal a knife and a spoon, and an empty plastic mayonnaise jar. And let's see, I've also got a pot, a metal pot. It's kind of fun to see. The different sounds these things make because that back here I have a ceramic coffee mug. Ooh, see? It all sounds pretty different. And I found these two cups. I think these are gonna make kind of fun symbols. You just have to crash them together. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to try to play a little bit of a tune here on my pots and pans. Let's see if I am successful. Here we go. See if you can figure out what I'm going to, going to play. Here we go. Hmm. That was just a little bit of it. It's supposed to be Twinkle Twinkle, but it's Miss Chris and her pots and pans. Also, one other quick extra tip. If you're wondering why there's a hairbrush here, if you have more kids than you've got pots and pans for you can hand out a hairbrush or something similar and then you've got a microphone so then you have a singer to go with your kitchen pan band and that is this week's literacy tip all right everybody it is time for our closing rhyme of tickle the clouds well we're tickling the clouds through way up here way by the ceiling let's start there tickle the clouds now tickle your toes way down here by the floor. Now turn around and tickle your nose. <laughs> reach down low, down by the floor again. And reach up high, way up here, woo! Our story time is over, so wave goodbye. <laughs> Bye everybody, thanks for coming to story time today. We'll see you next time.